Oh, cult devotion. So I'm thinking of getting a bike. I'm thinking of getting a bike, right? That's what I want to do. I want to get a bicycle. Now, my bicycle history has been a bit um, sketchy, um, to say the least, right? Um, every bike I've got so far in my life, right? From when I was young, from, no, from when I was young. Yeah, from when I was young until this age, until this particular age I'm at now, which is 21, thank you for asking, has been a hand-me-down, has been a borrow-me-down, has been something I've jacked or something I bought off Gumtree, Facebook, or whatever it may be called, right? I've never bought a new bike in my life. No, I lie. I have bought, I bought one. Sorry, shit, I did buy one. I bought a charged stove. I just remember now. I bought a charge stove, right? Which is this one. Let me get it up on the screen so you guys can see. I bought this bike here, right? This is the bike that I bought. The only bike I bought in my life um, uh, that was mine, right? I bought a charge stove. It's this one here. And that was brand new. I think I bought this one on like Evan Cycle or something like that. One of those websites back in the day when I used to work at Nike. And essentially it's a 20, is it 24 inch? Um... 20, is it 24, 20, oh, it's 26, okay, it's 26 inch um, BMX kind of, you know, a big BMX bike sort of thing, and I had this bike, I used it all the time, it's something I used to ride on the way to work, um, I actually changed, I actually changed this, this is the kind of way I changed it actually, I didn't have the um, the neon green pedals, but I did have the neon green grips, I loved the bike, it was my favourite, if anything, the only thing wrong with it was that the frame was super heavy and the components were a bit shit, um, I should have changed them quite earlier on when I was riding it, but I didn't really get a chance trying to do it, and then by the time I started, and then and then when I moved to this flat here, I did start riding it a mo lot more often, but it got a bit harder to ride because I lived so far away in Stratford and everything else I was doing was in East, so it kind of got a bit hard to ride, um, especially because, you know, it's got such a small um, gear link or chain, whatever it may be called. Uh, what's it called? Um, chain link, whatever it's called. Uh, the gear ratio is really small. I don't know how to how you describe it. So it kind of got tiring to ride it day in, day out, but I really enjoyed riding it. I lost loads of weight doing it. Like, it's a good jumpy, fun bike to ride around. They call it the pub the pub runner whatever it may be called so that's the last bike i had and um ever since then everything else has been a hand-me-down and um i've been unlucky as well because every, everywhere i've been working so far has been quite far right so the last place i had a, i had a bike was in shepherd's bush i used to work around that area and i had a hand-me-down bike that I bought off i don't know facebook or some shit for like 50 quid and of course those kind of bikes aren't really made for you to be riding you know five plus miles back and forth right and i used to i used to no joke right i used to no joke um ride from here to shepherd's bush i think it's about six miles i think it's six miles right let me see if it's six miles i think it might be six miles let me see if i can get it up on here white is this show the white city white city let's do white city white city hmm. white city station 10 <laughs> 10 miles <laughs> i don't know how i did that oh my god oh my god I don't know how the fuck I did that. That is insane, brother. Okay, cool. So I used to, I used to, I used to cycle, right? Like that's a that scene out there. I used to cycle ten miles back and forth to work, right? Um, on my bicycle. So essentially, I was, I was going, I was doing just under a marathon a day, right? And that's probably why I was fucking the skinniest I've ever been in my life. So I think I might have been hundred and eighty seven, hundred ninety pounds. Now I'm about two twenty ish year pounds so imagine how thin i must have looked back then um so i was doing that every day and of course the back i had just couldn't handle that kind of mileage and eventually broke down so much so a couple of times i had the unfortunate mess of going to work without my oyster card my bike breaking down and me having to get a train back home and begging the person at the gate to let me through so essentially just a bit of a shit show so i've been able not i've been without a bike and then this charge drive i did have it kind of broke. I think I was going to fix it. And then um, I left it downstairs where all my bikes are locked up in my flat. And then um, they had this massive clean out of all the bikes that are there. And my bike was kind of taken away and thrown in the bin because I didn't claim it. Anyway, long story short, I need to get a new bike. And I want to get another sort of charged over. I want to get another 26 inch BMX. Like, I really enjoyed it. It was fun to ride. They're small, don't get me wrong. I look kind of big and ridiculous on them, but I like the idea of having that kind of bike and riding it around, right? So the bike that I want to get at the moment, uh, the, there's two that are on my list. The one bike is this one. It's called the Cult Devotion. So Cult uh, Devotion uh, 26, not 29. There's two. There's 29 inches or 26 inches. I want to get the 29 inch, the 26 inch. I like that kind of smaller shape. So you got this bike here. It's called the Cult Devotion. I think you guys can see it here on screen. I'm going to put it up there, the big one. 
So essentially, it's the same like the charge stove. Um, the seat, the back seat. I like the fact the back seat kind of bends back slightly a little bit, so it's not going to be as uh, forward facing as before. Sometimes my knees we rub it up against the the handlebars. So essentially, it's a big BMX as you can see there. The reason why I want to buy it, if you're wondering, is because I saw this um image actually of Lee Spellman. Is it Lee Spellman? Um, Lee Spellman Twitter. Uh, the guy from what's his name? What's the band he's from? Babylon? Is it Babylon? What, what's, the, what's the band he's from? Trash Talk? Is it Trash Talk? Is it Trash Talk? I think it's Trash Talk. Anyway, Lee Spellman tweeted this the other day because um, he's, he's got an, he's got the FTP version of the bike, right? He recently picked up. I'm not sure if he got given it as a gift or something, but I think he posted it somewhere. Where is it? Oh, did he take it off? Maybe he took it down. He had an image of the bike that he posted just now. Or maybe I'm bugging out. Oh, man. I think he might have taken it down. But Lee Spellman had a had an image of his um FTP one, right? So let me see if I can find it. FTP cult uh bike. It looks fucking awesome. Hopefully someone has it here. Let's see. Has he got it there? FTP cult. Yeah, so that that's basically the bike that everyone has here, but you can't exactly see it. But this is basically where I where I saw it and I could thought I wanted it. So this is the FTP version, right? Right, FTP, legendary LA streetwear brand. Um, they've done a collaboration with Colt, who seem to be like the number one kind of um, kind of bike brand or BMX bike brand that everyone sort of wants. I've seen loads of reviews on them on, on, on the YouTubes and stuff. And look how nice that looks, right? So it's a black frame with uh, metallic silver forks, metallic silver um, handlebars. It just looks amazing, right? It looks really fucking nice, right? Um, $600 um is it available now hold on let's go what's one three can you just oh, okay visit the link finish the website where you can you can add links to stuff that you want to get right i'm assuming is it on their website now to check yeah six hundred dollars so this is the kind this this is why I, this is what i saw and i kind of thought you know what i think i need this bike i think i need one of these bikes again back in my life so it's ftp uh 20 26 inch uh bmx right in collaboration with colt um it says yes yeah, integrate headset colt nylon pedals uh, nylon pedals. Doesn't they, they do nylon to you? Hmm. Not nylon to me. Um, look how nice that looks, though. Silver again. So th th uh, this is one option, right? That's option number one. Let me try if I can get away from this. Option number one's that, and then it says so. To, um, integrated headset, cold nylon pedals, heat treated cranks. Whether that means sealed mid bottom bracket, cold four one ten four twenty chain. And I think the good thing with Colt is that it, you know, it's um, it's gonna be a good. The components are pretty good. I'm receiving right here. So that's one uh, one I wanted to get. So that's six hundred dollars. So about five hundred quid. Then the next one I thought I really wanted to get was this one's a bit cheaper and it looks really nice though. To be honest, it's called a, it's called a Kink Drifter. So between this and the and the and the other one that I mentioned previously. So let's let me just get this up for you and you guys can see. And we can go through this. So let me pause this. Da, da, da. It's a little video, the review. And again, and there's quite, and again, maybe because I'm ignorant of the kind of BMX community, but having looked online, there's quite a few um, BMX influencer videographer people on YouTube doing some cool videos, man. I've seen quite a few of them. Like Some of them take inspiration from see what Casey Neistat has done in the past, but loads of really cool uh, BMX dudes doing some great things on the old BMX front. Um, so this is another bike that I went to get. Um, it's called the Kink Drifter 26 inch 2019 edition. I think it's like $400 or something along those kind of lines. Um, there's a little video here kind of describing exactly, showing exactly why I kind of want it. And I'll play it for you guys now. Let me get it up here. I go right. da, 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 da. Cool, let's do this. And this, and this is why I kind of want it, right? It's just kind of a, every, it's a good everyday sort of bike. It's a bit hard to ride loads of miles and stuff, but better, good enough for like the everyday streets and doing your thing. The guy looks like about similar height to me. So that's probably going to be what I look like when I ride it and shit. You can do kind of standard tricks, you know? Park it up against a pub, you're going to, I'm looking to park it up against a pole of that. I'm just sort that off. But yeah, you know? I think it looks sexy as fuck, innit? And it's all black too. It comes already quite well done. I won't need to do anything to it. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of it, man. I think I, I, think I want to do it. One brake, brake at the back. Great new tyres. And I was thinking as well, because I saw some someone the other day actually um, had a bit of an accident on there. Again, I wonder what that slit is on the back of that thing. What do you think that little 
hole is on on, on the on the back seat. Is that look? Is that something to put something in? Is that like a little screw to make it taller? I wonder what that is. A little slit there. But I saw, I saw someone recently um, having to change their tire when their bike had a puncture on the street the other day, and I was thinking, fuck, that's why I don't miss, isn't it? When you're riding a bike and you get a punch on the way to work. But I think what I might do, because I just got no time for all that shit, I'm just going to pack a couple of inner tubes in my back, in my fucking um, satchel when I'm riding around, right? Because every time you have a bag, I'll just, I'll just essentially buy four inner tubes and just have two of them in my backpack and two of them in my side satchel or whatever kind of waist bag that I'm wearing at the time. Like, imagine if I've got um, one of these... Uh, bad boys on Ugh. imagine if i'm wearing one of my one 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 of my side bags like this little supreme one i've got here or this little places and faces one that's fucking smashed the smithereens but i'll probably have one of those and just chuck them chuck my um inner tube in there because i just got no time to be sitting there and feet, making sure i know where the hole is and and kind of gluing it up again that's just long no 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 time for that whatsoever but yeah i think i'm gonna get that in a couple of months i need a bike man um especially you know i was thinking especially for my djing stuff like just to kind of because i don't really play too far from where i live it's always in leighton stone shot for that sort of area or sometimes in hackney Centre in hackney uh, playing in those warehouses or even in Dawson and stuff and it's just nice to kind of be able to kind of you know go down a bike and nip back home quickly as well because you know like and as well there's not i know it's bad to say but there is not quite there's nothing quite like dry, riding back home after night out a bit tipsy man it's so cool you sober up so quickly like driving riding back on a bike like because your senses get heightened your the wind's blowing in your face your 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 just your adrenaline's pumping i loved it back in the day and again i think in general whenever i used to have a bike and i was going out um hanging out with my friends in east whatever it may be and i was commuting back and forth i was a bit mindful about how how much i was drinking or how fucked i was gonna get it kind of did temper me down a little bit so i think that is gonna be overall a good benefit to me going forward but yeah those are the two bikes i'm kind of looking at if anyone out there has any other suggestions or bikes they think i should be getting or something i should be looking at again um please be considerate that i'm in the uk so some of these uh, manufacturers especially some of the other cooler ones i've seen on reddit and stuff someone made a list on reddit of all the kind of um uh, cruisers out there 26 inch and 29 inch um that are like you can get and most of the great like independent brands are us based i won't be able to get them here importing that stuff over will just cost too much so i want something that i can buy in the uk preferably something i can pick up if i can't something that i'm able to get delivered and i'll be more than happy to take your suggestions so yeah leave me a comment or send me a mail and i will be grateful for that